All right, keep in mind, this is the uh, language of the time. The Sioux Indians located at the Redwood and Yellow Medicine Agencies, those are northwest here, on upper waters of the Minnesota River broke into open rebellion on the 18th day of August, 1862. They massacred nearby all the whites and then about the agencies under the leadership of Chief Little Crow. Now that's kind of a misnomer because Chief Little Crow did not want war. Uh, he, he attended church on a regular basis and he really tried to keep the peace, but when people are hungry, you got troubles. They proceeded down the river to New Ulm and on the 19th of August, entered the settlement of Milford about seven miles west of New Ulm and killed many of the inhabitants. On the afternoon of, of uh, the 19th of August, a force of about 100 warriors attacked the town of New Ulm, killing several of the citizens but and burning a number of buildings, but did not carry the barricades which had been thrown up. That was under... Uh, at that time, Captain Captain Flandreau, just for the heck of it, will step around the other side. This was erected in 1890. I don't know if you can make him out up there even. That's that's kind of a, a bust of later Colonel Flandreau. Anyhow, this was erected in 1890. I just uh, see. Okay, well, the battle progressed. That's about as small as I can get you. Well, the... Battle was in progress. The advances of Captain Charles E. Flanders company from Nicollet County, about 15 strong under the command of L.M. Boardman, entered the town and the savages withdrew the defense. Up to this time was in charge of Captain Jacob Nix of the nine at, oh, I'm sorry, at 9 p.m. the uh, 9th of August, a large force consisting of Captain Flanders' company from Nicollet County, together with a I company from LeSueur County, primed and, and took the, arrived and took the possession of the town, reinforcements to a number of several hundred subsequently arrived on uh, 20th Captain Flandreau was chosen commander of, of the chief, commander in chief of the defenses. Okay. On the 26th, 600 Indians, Native Americans, attacked Noam again at half past nine in the morning and besieged until the 24th. The assault of was vigorously executed and desperately resisted. 180 buildings were destroyed. Yeah, I knew that. That was Colonel uh, Captain Flandreau, later Colonel Flandreau, had set fire to anything that was in, in this line of uh, fire. Uh, 180 buildings were destroyed in the contest, leaving the town such part as only lay within the barricades of the defenses. Of, uh, of the defenders. 34 were killed and about 60 wounded. Reinforcements arrived at noon under Captain Cox of St. Peter on the 25th. The town was evacuated. The inhabitants all arrived safely in Mankato. Okay, uh, here they got kind of a, it probably won't show worth a darn. I'll see if I can step back. And But they, they got uh, some artist's depiction of uh, uh, some some Native Americans and some dead ones and dead horses attacking the, the cabins are on fire. There's a cabin on flames, but they're attacking cabins down in the river bottom. Okay, I guess that's enough. Now you know how poorly I read. Actually, I, I can read pretty good. I just don't read out loud. Well, thank you.